Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is day 12 of 100 videos in 100 days. Today I want to riff and talk to you guys a little bit about content creation. I know this is probably one of the biggest struggles for most people. Um, like, what do I put in on my content? How do I create content, etc. And we have a training that we ran in some of our old groups and stuff like that that I wanted to kind of reuse for you guys today and talk about it because it's still a very prevalent structure that we follow even to this day. So let's dive in. So the only types of content that you actually need to be creating. Now this is where we will differ and I will differ for most people who are gonna tell you to go out there and create content. I'm not here to tell you to go model everybody else or copy trends or viral videos, right? And I'm not here to encourage anybody to become a carbon copy of anyone else online because you will literally get stuck like the masses. And I primarily bring this up because this is a very prevalent one in like the new online marketing space where everybody's just like, you know, you got your product and you go copy all these creators and you copy these big creators and then people end up getting lost in the sauce, right? They don't ever go viral. They don't ever get any attention. Maybe they end up building audiences that aren't even correct, right? You go out there and create all this fake remote job content and then you wonder why people aren't buying your, your offers, like lack of congruency. Um, and, and if you're doing that right now, don't feel bad. Like I used to do the same thing, right? I, I literally was doing the exact same thing when I first started, especially on the short form video platforms. I was copying, copying the, the big creators and doing all that type of stuff. And, you know, my, my sales were a reflection of why I don't do that anymore. I was seriously struggling to sell inexpensive products, right? Whereas now we, we onboard, you know, premium price clients very regularly and we don't do any of this stuff. So the number one thing that you need to put in all of your content, no matter what, I don't care what you're selling, what space you're playing in, what niche you're in, what industry you're in, you, your humor, your personality, your lessons, your experiences, etc. Because this is what's going to give you the competitive edge that nobody else has, right? Nobody else is you. Nobody else has your story, your, your actual uh, life lessons or your humor or anything like that. So this needs to be the forefront of your content. When any of our clients come to us and they're like, hey, I'm just looking at getting started. What do I need to create content about? Yourself, you, like literally. Because at the end of the day, the only thing we're trying to sell people on is ourselves. You as a brand owner, you as a person, because no matter what you're doing in the, the online world, whether you're selling dildos, dump trucks, digital courses, through the power of free content creation, uh, you're selling you building a personal brand, an audience of like-minded people who are embarking down the same journey as you and want to do something similar. And the one component required for anyone to buy anything, they need to know you. The connection needs to be built through the content is what makes having $1,000 days a, a real thing, a real possibility, right? And this is coming from somebody who has, you know, averaged $1,500 a day for almost 800 days in a row. So, like what we're talking about here actually works. It's not just placebo, okay? The number of people you will start to repel by being yourself is a very good thing too, right? If, if we are creating a bunch of content that connects with people that we don't like, that we potentially don't see ourselves hanging out with or would be even good candidates to potentially buy our offers, we don't want them in our worlds anyways. If you look at a lot of the content that we create, we do this very regularly. Hey, if you're looking for plug and play products, if you're looking for done for you systems, if you're looking to get the maximum amount of results in the, the least amount of time, like we're not your guys, right? We're not here to promise you rags to riches or that you're going to buy a Lambo if you get our copy and paste model. That's not what we're here to help people do. And we're repelling them, right? And, and you naturally being yourself is going to repel people. And that's completely fine. You don't have to be for everybody. I think that's something that a lot of people tend to forget is they try to, you know, create this fictitious avatar online and they try to resonate with everybody, which then they end up resonating with nobody. Whereas if you can just start talking to a previous version of you and your content, that's like who you need to be talking to at all times. And this evolves with you as your brand grows, right? So why are we actually posting content to build a connection without your prospects feeling like they know you, trust you and like you, they will not buy from you. This is a big part of it. People are like, hey, I, I don't know why people aren't buy, buying from me. I don't know why people are not 
asking about my offer or anything. Well, have you even started creating any content yet? Without this piece, you will not sell anything. Okay. Like, and this is a big part of it. People wonder why they're not making sales. And it's like, you posted twice. People don't even know you. They don't even know that you have a product to offer. Like we can't expect people to come to your inbox and ask you to buy this thing if they don't even know anything about you or that you have anything to offer. All right, this content creation game is an accumulative effect. The real power lies in the longer and more consistent that you've been doing it. I'm not saying you guys got to go out there and create 700 posts a day, right? Just a little bit of showing up every day can be a little bit, can have your business in a, a completely different position in the next 90 days, right? Next is to pre-sell on your offers, your beliefs, your strategies, your model, your brand as a whole. Like if we look at our own business, this is a good real-time example of this. We've been talking about the same thing for years. So people kind of know that we don't do calls, right? We don't do sales calls. We're, we're big on group growth and monetization. And that's kind of the arena we're playing in. So that's what we mean by we're selling people on the model and the process. Okay. Pre-selling, talking about your offers, talking about your own investments, talking about the things that you're involved in, the things that you've bought. Okay. It, these don't have to be the, the centerpiece of the, the business, but you definitely want to start mentioning paid things, whether that's your own investments or your offers. If you look at our brand new free group that we just launched in the welcome post, we mentioned that we sell things. And if that makes you uncomfortable and you, 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 you aren't okay with that, then you should probably leave our group because we run businesses and we sell products, right? So we're letting people know pretty early on that we have stuff to sell. And lastly, to plant seeds, the more content you're creating over prolonged periods of time, the shorter and shorter sales conversations become because your content has built a rapport with them. Uh, the content has potentially made an offer for them. They kind of know about what you're doing. They know about your business model. They know about your strategies, your concepts, etc. And when we end up doing this consistently enough, you won't need to do as much uh, sales. And it not, not by like as much volume of sales, but I mean... The, the sales conversations will become easier and easier, right? I had a coaching client who, uh, a new coaching client who has been watching my content and they ended up seeing the offer and they sent me a message and they said, hey, can I buy this thing? All right, they ended up paying us $500 a month because they just saw content and they already made the internal decision that that's what they wanted to do, okay? So that's the real power of content. It's, it's an accumulative game. One piece of content isn't gonna change your life, okay? And with that, it also means that you can stop, stop taking the pressure off yourself that this content needs to be the, the bee's knees or this hyper polished thing because at the end of the day, it's not going to really matter. Okay. Test more content angles, test more content styles, strategies, etc. Now, I want to run through this real quick. This is a long form content structure. Now, you can use this for um, short form videos, you can use this for long form videos. And this is kind of a good flow to start with as far as like how to actually formulate your content. So eye catching headline example, here's how I had an $11,000 day of a Facebook group of 43 people. It's a very real result. We turned a tiny group into over a five figure day lead into an ongoing problem. Okay. Mutual frustration example, not generating quality leads. Talk about how it was when you were dealing with that ongoing problem, how you felt, what it was that frustrated you and what did, what did that frustration cause in your life and business? Get specific. If you can be more specific, uh, the easier your time is going to be when it actually comes to making offers to people. Okay, next up is backstory. Failures, downfalls in your journey. You can lean into the beginning of your journey, things that didn't pan out, failures, other challenges you faced, uh, setbacks, real struggles. A thing to think about is if you have a solution to your to this pain point, or the or even like up here in the ongoing problem, if your offer has a solution to this, that's the best case scenario. So if I'm talking about, hey, I want to show you how to eliminate sales calls from your business by building a community, right? That that's a good example of that. We're gonna show you how to create a leveraged sales process, which isn't gonna require you to be on Zoom anymore. Hey, I'm gonna show you how to start creating content that doesn't require you to go viral, but actually make sales. Okay, those are all burning problems in the actual market, right? Everybody's trying to chase this clout and all this stuff. But those are solutions that we have in our offer, right? Next up is what you found to work for you leading into your offer. Uh, now, you don't have to do this specifically with an offer, right? You probably want to 
you probably don't want to make an offer post every single day. Realistically, I would say best the sweet spot would probably be twice a week if you're posting five times a week, uh, potentially even more. Uh, right? You want to you want to balance it out. Right? A lot of really big creators and really successful creators would would tell you a one to four ratio is kind of the best best case scenario. So for every four pieces of content you're making, one of them is around an offer. Okay. You don't want to be a billboard and just buy my shit 24 seven because what's going to happen naturally is you're going to start repelling people. Now, if you're in an actual full blown promotion, those rules kind of go out the window, but that's a whole different ball game. Okay. Uh, what you, what did you start seeing or realizing what you did? Uh, did you find out that you were missing and how did it come to be? Be real. Okay. And I'm not telling anybody to go out there and lie about their results. Talk about real shit you've accomplished. You don't have to be this end all be all expert to start working with people or start selling offers. I think that's something we tend to forget. If you have started an online business and you've started creating content, you are an expert to somebody who's never created content. You can help them with that. And this will evolve yes. as you evolve. Next up is leaning a little bit into the results benefit of discovering this method, this strategy, this concept, this process model, etc. Um, all the cool stuff that comes out of your actual offer. Uh, what did you start experiencing? Growth in what areas? Aha moments, mindset, perspective shifts, more sales, more leads, engagement, group growth, followers, more confidence, more drive, etc. And with the CTA. Okay. So, and and flip the thing you gotta remember too is flipping it about them. What are they gonna get out of this? Because you gotta you gotta think is people are only gonna make decisions if it benefits them as a whole. Okay. So end with the CTA, this, and you can utilize this for anything, right? It could be an offer post. It could be trying to get people into your group. It could be a myriad of different actual things in your actual business, but this is kind of a good flow to follow. So next up is going pain and solution focused, right? You're selling a diet plan. You're not creating content about how someone's life sucks because they're overweight. You're painting a picture as to how they would feel once they become, they, how they would feel once they lose weight. It's a good analogy for that. Right, we're not hammering and rubbing salt into the fact that somebody is in this position. We're showing them where we could take them to. Right, you're in the high ticket affiliate marketing space. You're telling people how shitty their life is because they aren't willing to invest in themselves, which don't do that. Right, people do that type of stuff, and it sucks. Um, you're revealing the actual benefit of investing in something and what what is actually cost, costing them not to. Right, their time, their lack of results, etc. Right, like a good example of this, like we run a coaching program, five hundred dollars a month. Some people will tell us, "Oh, I can't afford that." Well, how can you afford not to do that? Okay, we've had people come in and do hundred k in hundred days in our coaching program. Every month that you delay and you wait is how much it's actually costing you. Or say, for example, somebody is running their business and they have this goal of five thousand dollars a month, and they've been doing the same thing for ten months and they haven't made sales yet. The actual cost of them investing not investing into something is that 10 months that they've wasted. Okay. They're still 10 months out from their goal. It's a good analogy and a good example of that. Um, anchor in your own stories, experiences into things. Everyone has a unique angle and experience they went through. Ultimately, ultimately making the whole, it's too saturated a thing of the past because nobody is you, right? And, and saturation only exists if you play the same game as everybody else, or if you're doing the copy and paste BS, and you're utilizing the exact same processes and and landing pages and stand stores that everybody else is using, yeah, then you're probably going to get buried because you're playing the exact same game, right? Versus playing your own game. Still sell the same products. So next up, content, content, content. Get better at making it, creating it. No, it will not be easy when you first start doing it, but it is going to be one of the biggest things you can and always be able to improve on that has an impact on how much you can make, right? The content you are creating basically has the ability to clone yourself and build relationships with people at scale over prolonged periods of time, which becomes extremely powerful. If you can get good at creating content that connects with people, sales will be easy. This is something to think about. If people consume and binge on your content, selling them offers become easy. As I mentioned earlier, we had somebody jump into our coaching program uh, off of just watching content from us. They already knew they wanted to buy. Okay, you'll start getting people reaching out. You'll get, start getting people to reach out, asking you to buy your offers, etc. One of the biggest perspective shifts 
that uh, I had around content was that everything that I put out on the internet was like a little piece of mini real estate, okay? That had the ability to cash flow for years to come. If you look at this actual video series that I'm doing 100 videos in 100 days, these videos are gonna live on the internet. I can reuse these as many times as I want. Somebody's like, hey, I don't know how to write content. I can send them this video. It's a real good real-time example of that. Okay, everybody who comes into your world and consumes your content will be at stages, uh, at different stages and over prolonged periods of time. It stacks. And the content you put out two weeks ago is tipping people to buy today and so on and so forth. This is a very powerful thing to think about. Some people don't even give themselves enough time to play this game, which even gives them the opportunity to start making sales. Like if we're helping our clients launch offers, the one thing that we always mention to them, three weeks minimum of very heavy content, multiple pieces of content every single day, because you have to build this awareness. Okay, the lack of results you're getting in your business or the results you are getting in your business right now are usually based on actions that you were making last month. Not today, not yesterday. It's, it's a compound effect, okay? Homework, create a long form piece of content and post it. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, pretty or polished. Just do it. Once you've done it, screenshot it and post it right here inside of the group. And that's all I got for you guys today. A little bit around content creation, writing content, long form content structure, uh, the only types of content you actually need to be creating. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you want this doc, drop, drop me a doc in the comments and I'll love it your way. And you guys have a kick-ass Monday.